Hello, everyone. I am grateful that I get to be here in Arizona talking to you guys. Like Travis said, my name is Maddie Mink. I am an influencer coach. I specialize in helping women unveil their inner queen to become influencers in their lives and businesses to create 100K impact and 100K income. So that is my heart, soul, and passion. That is why I'm on this earth. This is what I am here to do. Um, whenever I speak on stage, I give my heart to you guys. I give a very big piece of me. I give you my experiences. And so I want to start out with anyone that is feeling open to doing this. I want you to stand out and I just want you stand up, excuse me, and just open up your arms and open up your heart. I want you to feel my experiences and my journey because these are sacred to me. So I want everyone just to open up their heart. Take a deep breath, breathe. It's been a great, amazing day. We've taken in so much already. Okay, I want everyone to close their eyes and I want them to imagine that they are on a stage. They have a 100,000 people in their audience just waiting, waiting to hear what you have to say, what your purpose is, what your soul mission is. And I want you to envision what is this message that you want to share with them? What do you want to say to these people? Take three big deep breaths. Good, and I invite you to open up your eyes. Whatever that message was, I want you to write it down because we are going to come back to that. So whatever your message was, you're going to fall into two categories. One gets no results at all. No matter how hard you try, you will get no results. One, the other one, you will get massive results and create a massive impact and movement. And I will share with you later in my presentation what these two groups are. And most people unconsciously don't know what they're doing, and that is why I'm here. That is why I coach, because I'm here to unveil that to you. I'm here to unveil what you what your potential is and what you can create so my story <laughs> when i was 15 years old i my like goal at that point was high school like i was so excited like everyone knows junior high sucks it does so i was like well i get to high school everything's gonna be so much better first of all you get to go to dances and i've always been in the whole queening princess thing and i was like it's my real life ball coming coming to life. I got prom coming up and I'm so excited. So I'm going into high school and I went to a doctor's appointment just like my yearly check-in before I go into school and got this very rude awakening from my doctor. And he said, Maddie, you have developed pre-diabetic symptoms, type two. This was self-induced. Are you kidding me? My whole world came crashing down at that moment. I was 40 pounds overweight. I already struggled with my confidence. I already didn't fit in. And now I have this disease that I've inflicted upon myself. And I remember my exact thoughts. And as shallow and may stupid as this may seem, this was my thought. I said, great. I have my fairy tale ball coming up. Got asked to prom by the guy that I really like. And I get to wear the dress and the shoes and the whole thing. And I know at dinner, I am going to be so embarrassed when I have to turn to him and ask him to unzip my dress and give me my pump so I can pump my insulin. That was embarrassing to me. That was, that was humiliating. Something so simple. The principles that I hadn't learned by my parents, that I had no coach, I had no mentor, I had no one to teach me about nutrition, now was affecting my entire life. So what would you guys do? What would you guys do if you found out that you are pre-diabetic? What would you guys do? No one would do anything? Are you guys gonna, okay. gonna talk? Okay, I'm like, get really guys? Shape. That was like a real question. Okay, yeah, okay. Where yeah. do you get in shape? Go to the gym. Yeah. That's my thing, I'm like, I just need to go to the gym. All my problems are solved at the gym. So I walk into the gym. I had never been in my entire life. And who remembers their first experience walking into a gym? Please raise your hand if you remember that experience because it is cringed in my brain. I walk in, it seems like everyone is chiseled to perfection. 
Like everyone is perfect, right? I was like, oh my God. And everyone knows what they're doing. It's like this magical land that no one's talking to each other, but everybody just functions and knows what they're doing. I was like, I don't know what's happening. I was like, so like, what do I do? Got my pass, I check in. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go on the treadmill, but the front line, so I can watch everyone, see what they're doing. So say if you got a quick start button, you just keep walking. So I started, <laughs> I was just walking. And I'm looking around, I'm like, okay, fittest person in the room, got you. Okay, what are you doing? I'm just watching, and he was doing crunches. I was like, okay, crunch my way to a six pack. He is on to something. So right after I got off the treadmill, I went and I did sit-ups. I did like the little side.